Over at the National Assembly, the jam-packed August extraordinary session got off to a good start today as lawmakers passed several bills to help the Korean economy get back on track. For details, we turn to our Jim young -il. Lawmakers passed a handful of long-pending economy-related bills into law at the National Assembly on Tuesday. We were able to pass bills to improve the people's livelihoods. We will do our best to make the August extraordinary session fruitful and to avoid political wrangling. The bills include measures to ease regulations on construction of new public housing in urban areas. There is also support for projects to build high-tech industrial complexes and accompanying business incubators that will bolster fledgling startups and venture enterprises in Korea. Lawmakers also voted on resolutions to overhaul Korea's disease management system and conduct an audit of government agencies overseeing the MERS outbreak. Apart from that, lawmakers also deliberated over a motion from the Justice Ministry to arrest a lawmaker accused of influence peddling. Park Gichin, who left the main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy Party on Monday amid the allegations, is suspected of receiving nearly 300,000 U.S. dollars in illegal political funds in exchange for aiding a businessman. MPD spokesperson Ian Ju said party leaders would give the motion careful consideration before making a decision. Park's arrest is subject to parliamentary consent, as sitting lawmakers are immune from arrest while the assembly is in session, and the matter must be put to a vote within 72 hours. Although lawmakers did make some progress on Tuesday, they still have more contentious issues on their agenda for this session, including conglomerate and labor market reforms and a series of allegations against the spy agency. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.